Hello and welcome to Ocho COVID Adventure number five. This one is Berea Beach Park. And it is the ultimate surf and ski weekend. We'll get back to that in a second. But first, the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. This is the fourth of four county, Ventura County, California camps, as opposed to state camps. You can see my previous adventures for some of the other ones. But uh, El, uh, actually, El Capitan is a state park. Hobson, Rincon, and Faria are the county parks. This one here is Faria, which is the closest. And as you can see, it's actually only like, I don't know, seven miles away from Ventura. So very close. Right here is Faria. Hobson is right around here. And this is the whole Rincon uh, parkway stretch, which I showed you in the last Ocho adventure. But uh, Faria is kind of cool. It also, this point here is also called Pitus Point, which is a cool surfing area. And kind of like Hobson, it's a small park. It has this macadam oval here, uh, essentially just a driveway and a parking lot with, I think it's, uh, here it is, 42 spaces. It's jam-packed all year. It's got a little uh, little restaurant, hamburger stand there, some hot, nice hot showers. It's right off, you just dip right off the freeway. And that, that picture I was taking was from this, this direction looking this way. Here's a shot of the beach looking south towards Pitus Point, which is right around the, around the corner over here. We had a big tide this weekend and you can see how far down the water is. Looking at the campground, the, the tide comes way up here on the rocks. It was a uh, king tide. Looking up along the Rincon Parkway and towards Hobson, you can see the beautiful long sand beach. Mussels, lots of rocks. Sadly, when I got there, a juvenile sea lion had stranded itself on the rocks. Apparently, they do that when they get malnourished. He was only like 25 pounds. I guess they're supposed to be about 50 pounds. And I've never seen one high and dry before. I've seen them surfing a bunch of times. They often look like Labradors swimming around in the water. And they're always very curious to watch surfers. But... This guy, uh, they captured him and they're taking to him to a rehab place. Hopefully they got, got him better. Being so close, I uh, had some friends come down for uh, a beer and a little music jam. We uh, watched the sunset, which was nice. You can see the Channel Islands out here. Very beautiful evening. Kind of magical how the Channel Islands sort of appear. It's always a little hazy along the, the bottom part. Uh -huh. Don't sit on the horizon. Don't sit on the horizon. Don't sit on the a mix of Spanglish as usual. So here is uh, Luke Duella, as you can see, camped up here in the king tide that we have, which is it's the kind of tide when the the sun, I'm sorry, earth and the moon and the sun are all in a line. So the tide is higher. It actually came up over the rocks, splashed on the trailer. I don't know, global warming, this, these little camps might not be here for too many more years. Just a shot of the surf. As I woke up in the morning, you can see Luke Dwella has a, has a back door here, which is kind of cool. And uh, I literally watched the dolphins swimming by, which was kind of fun. RV World, I always have a little section. I'm learning about all these different crazy trailers. This was my buddy who came from Oregon, and he's got a fifth wheel, which you can see here. Fifth wheel are these huge trailers, and it's got, so you got the trailer kind of back here, and then um, they're pulled by a pickup truck, 
which is up here, and the pickup truck, the, the trailer has this kind of thing that comes over and plants into the middle of the pickup truck. So they, they hinge in the middle like you see him doing here, which is interesting. I don't know how these guys get into some of the parking spots. And he's got a monster diesel pickup. Here's a motor home, meaning that the the motor and the, the whole deal is all in one. This is a monster, too. As I've mentioned before, you can drive up to a 40-footer of one of these without a special license. That guy's trying to pack it in. Here's a little Airstream. Uh, this is called a Bambi trailer. This is I almost bought one of these, but instead opted for what's called the base camp, which is even smaller and is perfect for me. And also much easier to get around and much easier to park and much easier to pull. Didn't really look, find any interesting gear to report this time, but things I did. As I mentioned in the beginning, surf and ski, the ultimate SoCal weekend. My friend Dave and I took off from Ventura, which is here, and went it's about 45 miles up here to where you can take this road that goes up to Pine Mountain. And Pine Mountain is 8,800 feet. So that's sea level to 8,800 feet in 45 miles. Uh, we parked up here and then mountain biked up to the, up to the top. It was pretty cool. This was in November and there was snow everywhere up there. And you get a little, you know, altitude shortness of breath because 8,000 feet, that's, you know, it's not a 14er, but it's getting up there. Here's a little video. Check this out. Snow, about 7,500 feet. Massive boulders. Raised peak, super cool. Only 47 miles from coastline. I don't know what that little red dot is there, you know. It's not me. Anyway, um, here's a pano shot from up on the top. So we're at eight, uh, 8,800 feet. You can see the Channel Islands out here. And that's about down there where I camp. So the road winds down. It's the, the Route 33. Ohio, Ohio Valley is in here. And then you continue winding on down to Ventura. So that is the ski part, not technically skiing, and this is the surf part, <laughs> as I've shown you before on my e-foil. You can see the whole video on YouTube, but I just can't resist having a little bit of a... So that's the surf part I did. A, I had a couple of great sessions out there, and uh, I also read a book. You can see here this uh, biography on Andy Warhol. I'm not a big Andy Warhol art fan, but pretty interesting dude. Uh, obviously a major success in the art world. Super, super good at commercializing his art. Parting shot, okay. Just to make sure these are uh, write-offs, all these trips, I've got to do some artistic, creative work, and got a few good shots looking out from the campground towards the Channel Islands during the sunset. A couple shots that I dickered with a bit and added some color to. Photographs. There's another shot. There's a hardcore old man in the sea shot. And a purple one. So that's it. Thanks for checking out the Ocho Adventure number five. Uh, you can see them on my YouTube channel uh, at Ocho Libre. Uh, you just look under Ocho Libre on YouTube and my website, OchoLibre.com. Hasta luego.